Thanks for the long hours of support, Jack. Okay, it's been real fine, Walt. Uh, just a final update on the weather and the recovery area. 2,000 broken, winds 270 at 20, wave height is 3 feet. Roger. Mark, one minute from the deorbit burn. Uh, within two minutes after that deorbit burn, the spacecraft and the uh, service module should separate. Spacecraft will be in a pitch down 48 degree attitude at the time of the deorbit burn, about a 300 foot per second burn. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, mark. Retrofire. Shira says we're burning right on the mark. We'll be, uh, show that indication here on the ground with four good ball valves cut off and uh, to emphasize the point while he added very good retro burn we're reading 259 hours and 39 minutes confirm separation that last communication from cunningham we don't have a time on it but it is confirmed the service module and the uh, command module have separated everything's working beautifully jack that you're looking good you're coming right down the line Slap in the face and they separate. Right. Looking real good, Wally, coming right down the line. Now the carrier says they haven't had a report uh, for a minute or so now, but apparently they got very steady reports. 2,000 feet altitude, 2,000 feet. Now we have uh, a report from the ethics that the spacecraft was in what's called stable one in NASA talk. That means they were heads down. They were submerged there with their uh, their blunt bottom side up toward the air, which probably precluded a lot of transmission. However, they have inflated, apparently inflated their writing bags or their flotation bags. They are now uh, apex up, floating, and uh, they are establishing electronic contact. Recovery one has positive contact, and now we've got a we've got the picture.